Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad tutorial, so let's get cracking. Today, friends, I'm going to start real quick on my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, and underneath that, you'll find the awesome categories that'll help you find the projects you need. Below that, you'll find my day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll also find my class on cadclass.org. It is called Tinkercad in 20 Days. Of course, this video will give you many more details. There is also a coupon code that will get you 25% on any of the awesome courses you choose to take. You can follow this link to get to the web page in an instant. Now today's video is going to cover how to find content by me. Of course, this website is pretty handy. If you want to learn about SimLab, you can visit here, Minecraft projects, things for 3D printing, code blocks, and circuits. Whichever of these you choose, you will find that the content is organized a little better than if you visit my YouTube channel. Of course, an added bonus to the website is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Now, part of today is also to highlight my YouTube channel. Friends, when you come out here, of course, the first thing you'll see is the homepage. You'll find the For You. You'll also find videos, shorts, totally Tinkercad. Don't forget you can scooch out here to find even more projects. I have them organized all in that row. I've got an entire tab once again with more content than will fit for laser cutting and 3D printing. And you can continue to explore content all the way down. But what I really want to highlight today is the search that is dedicated to my channel. If you use this search, you're searching all of YouTube. If you use this search, you're only searching my products. So say you want to make a bunny. If you type bunny in there, of course, it'll give you a quick search that shows you the content I've made that may or may not cover bunnies. This is also handy if you want to learn something like, say, SVG tricks. If you type SVG, it'll give you all of my SVG projects just like that. Same with text or 3D printing or printing in place. This is the magic tool that helps you find content faster. While we're talking about search, let's quickly check out the Tinkercad search. There are two ways to search in Tinkercad. The first one is right up here by your username. This searches all of Tinkercad. So if I type car, you will see all of the car projects that have been created. Currently, they're sorted by relevance. If you switch and sort to recent, you'll see the latest designs. That is absolutely awesome, and I'll give it a reaction. If instead you switch to trending, you'll see the most popular things lately. These are a couple of projects by me. This shows you how to add wheels to ZDP's awesome Jeep. It is a fun project. This one shows you how to make your own awesome crash car in about 15 minutes. Sometimes I forget to click on trending. It is a cool way to find awesome projects you should be checking out. That is absolutely epic. Gonna give it a wow. Finally, friends, you can also sort by reactions. This is a fantastic way to find amazing projects. Of course, if you scroll down far enough, you'll even find some of mine that have tutorials that show you how to make them. Quickly, though, I'm gonna back up and show you another way to search. If we cancel this and just return to the Tinkercad workspace, we can also search our designs. When you click on designs, now there's a search box right here. Notice it is below the other one. And this time when I search, if I type car again, it will only show me my cars. And notice there are 118 results for car projects. Of course, you can switch to the other pages just like that. And you can always use this tool to bounce back to page number one in an instant. You can double check to see if you have some that were made with circuits, which I do, but these are making cards. And then also you can check code blocks. I did actually have a code blocks car tutorial. I'm going to bounce back here one more time and I'm going to let you know you can also sort by when they were created and you can sort them by name A to Z. Notice since this one started with numbers, 
it is the first one you see. Of course, friends, I hope that helps you out with your navigating and finding the projects you want. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad gallery. Don't forget when you first click that button, you get to see the awesome staff picks. Make sure you check them out and give the users reactions. Of course, if you find one of mine, there is likely a tutorial. If it is not in the description, make sure you check the images for clues to other awesome projects. What I want to do right now, though, is shut off those staff picks, switch to the larger grid, and check out the amazing designs that have been shared today. That is awesome, and giving a shout out to Squirmy Worm, absolutely fantastic. I love to take a moment, visit these projects, and of course, give reactions. You just never know whose day you might be making. That is awesome. Lastly, friends, don't forget the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.